Mercedes-Benz It is perhaps the biggest name in luxury cars in the world. Sure, there are Italian exotics like Lamborghini, stately British brands such as Bentley, Rolls-Royce, and Aston Martin, and plenty of competition in Benz's home country of Germany. But the German make with the three-pointed star logo is for countless buyers around the world the brand to aspire to. It has a reputation for superb build quality and excellent engineering. It also has an extremely strong pedigree, including bragging rights that its founder Carl Benz invented the world's first production automobile. Tisha Paul and welcome to American Television News. Go ahead, friends and folks and family and everyone that's watching. Hit the free like and the free subscribe button. It helps a lot. Our team really needs this, so please hit the like and free subscribe. According to Forbes, the pioneer of automobile industry in the end of the 19th century were Damelier and Carmer brands with Benz patent name what is widely viewed as the first automobile. Mercedes-Benz is a subsidiary of a German-based Damelier and the brand is used on luxury cars, buses and trucks. Mercedes focuses its sponsorship spending on events that attract a well-heeled crowd. Its three pillars are golf, tennis, and New York's Fashion Week. The Mercedes F1 team has also dominated the track with five straight constructed championships behind drivers like Lewis Hamilton, Nico Rosberg, and Valiot Bottas. So as you can tell, Mercedes really does have the luxury behind the brand, and there's just 28 so china is the biggest market with 28 percent of units sold followed by the united states which is 14 percent then germany which is 14 percent sales in china rose by 11 percent the mercedes brand matches 2017 record of 2.4 million cars sold last year it was the eighth straight year of record sales only 9,000 more than the previous year so Mercedes is definitely a force to be reckoned with. It's the what it has 173,000 employees. It's for, based in Germany, and it has like 18 for the best brand for social impact. And according to Forbes, it's number 226 for customer experience all star. Now let's see another article on Mercedes. This is from the Motley Fool. And it says that as the Neil to that classic has is breaking up as hard to do, Ola would love to add that it's also financially catastrophic if the one you're calling it quits, which is the largest overseas trader and partner. Despite much of Europe revaluating its relationship with China, the Mercedes-Benz CEO told the Financial Times that cutting ties with the Middle Kingdom would be unthinkable for almost all of German industry. So Mercedes is doing a little shake up there and China is giving us a little issue, but we'll watch and see what's going on. There was a segment on CNBC about Mercedes-Benz and a 2023 Mercedes C-Class, which is the least expensive one, cost $44,000. $850. Of course, the Tesla car, which is now a Mercedes competition, the Model 3, which is the least expensive one, that costs $42,990. So as you know, Mercedes has bragging rights. It's also a car that's known for its reputation and excellence. There's a few brands that can match Mercedes, but Mercedes-Benz is ultra ultra luxury Carl Benz designed it and it went on from the 1830s but Mercedes these days have competition you've got the Tesla the generation Z that's between 18 to 29 they are obsessed with electric vehicles and today's topic is about the luxury item Mercedes Benz and the five cars that you can buy if you cannot afford a mercedes-benz and you want to keep your car payments under 300 dollars per month so we're going to tell you that but let's talk more about 
What celebrities drive Mercedes-Benz in the United States? Well, we've gotten a list of the celebrities and we're just going to go over a few of them. Paris Hilton drives a Mercedes-Benz. Kim Kardashian drives a Mercedes-Benz. So does Justin Bieber. He likes the Mercedes-Benz. And of course, Drake drives a Mercedes-Benz as well. Kanye West loves Mercedes-Benz and Beyonce. There are a lot more celebrities that drive Mercedes-Benz, but we just wanted to list a few of them. And how about some of the luxury cars that if you don't get a Mercedes-Benz, you can look into? You've got the Jaguar, you've got the Tesla, you've got the Audi, you've got the BMW, you've got the Austin Martin, you've got a Range Rover, you've got a Ferrari. Lexus is also a really good luxury car. You've got Lamborghini as well. That's a top luxury car. The Bentley. How could we forget the Bentley? You've got Volvo. You've got Rolls Royce. You've got Porsche. You've got Maserati. You've got Pogata. And of course, we mentioned Tesla, which starts at $42,990. Now, if you are cash crunch, Generation Z between 18 to 29, you know the average car payment used is 529 brand new 729 so we've got problems with that and so we came up with our own five top cars that are reasonably priced brand new number one is a nissan versa remember you can always get a mercedes that is your dream car that's the car that you're going to inspire to be i'm 47 years old driving a mercedes I didn't drive a Mercedes when I was 19 years old or 25. I drove a practical car, which was either a Toyota or a Honda or a Nissan. So you're going to work your way up to the Mercedes or one of your dream cars. But right now, here are the top five cars that are affordable. The Nissan Versa, that starts at $16,205. Now, without putting anything down, you are looking at a car payment of 60 months at 306, 72 months to 61. Why is the average car payment 529 per month for used car and 729 per month for new? They are buying the wrong cars. This program is about saving you money. I'm telling you, hit the free like and the free subscribe button. I'm a former Wall Street attorney. I'm here to save you money. I'm putting money in your pocket. Number two, Kia Rio. That's 17275. Number three, the Hindu accent. Brand new is $17,690. Number four, a Subaru Impeze. I-M-P-E-Z-E. That average is $19,790. And number five is the Kia Forte. That average is $20,115. So what I told you is to come up with a budget and the budget looks something like this, 3,000 a month after taxes, 310%, you're gonna live on the rest. So that's 3,600. And this is what you're gonna do with the car. You're gonna go and get a car, 16 minus four, that's 12,000, 226, that's over 60 months, 72. And you have managed it, magically beat the average car payment. So that's how you avoid the 729 problem.